Okay, so I'm back from the stores. I actually went to Walmart and HEB because there's some things at HEB that's cheaper than Walmart. So I had to stop by there on my way home. And they're kind of like, um, when I come back from Walmart anyway, HEB is on the way home anyway. So it's not like it's a far out stop. So I kind of wanted to do like a quick um, grocery haul for you guys because I wanted to share with you guys how I still stayed within my budget. You guys know if you've been following me for a while, I have a $100 um, a week food budget that I try to stick to. If I do have parties or anything like that, I, I would go no more than 150 But I actually stay within under, under $100 this week, even though I purchased some stuff for the party that I'm going to have at my parents' house and also for a special breakfast for the girls for Christmas morning. So I was actually excited that I was able to buy groceries for this week and actually stay under budget with the party stuff as well. So I kind of want to share with you guys what I got at Walmart, what I got at HEB to stay in budget. So to, sh to basically show you that you don't have to spend a lot of money to on food during the week and also when you're doing parties. So I'm going to kind of go with, um, go down the receipt and show what you get the things that I bought. And I do get a lot of the, um, store brand stuff because there is a lot of the store brand stuff that is the same ingredients, same, um, it's made the same way as the uh, name brand stuff and you pay way less. So they've really stepped up their game these past years and they taste just as great as the name brand. So, and then you pay half of it. So I'm going to share with you guys the stuff that I got. Okay. So here are my groceries that I got from Walmart and HEB and don't mind the dirty dishes in the back. I have to get to those, but I'm just going to go down the line on my receipt. So I'm kind of be jumping around because I kind of want to go down the receipt so I don't get lost. And I'm going to tell you the things that I bought for this week, but also for the party. So starting off over here, I always get this great value, uh, syrup and the great value syrup is 133, which is a good price. You know, syrup can be way more than that. And then I also bought some great value shortening because there are certain cookies that we make every year for christmas called polvorones it's a spanish cookie that my mom used to make growing up with me and now i share the i share it with my kids and they love this cookie we actually make it throughout the year because they love it so much they can't wait till christmas but we're going to make them tonight and i'm going to show you guys um you guys are going to see us making it tonight for you know for santa or just for us you know when he comes or whatever so i bought some great value sliced stewed tomatoes because i'm making dip um this kind of like a Pico de Gallo dip that I always make that the family loves. I'm making this for our Christmas uh, day kind of appetizers at my mom's house. And this um, this can cost 64 cents. And I forgot to tell you, the shortening cost $2.98 for the Great Value one. And this one was 68 cents. Then moving on back over here to the hazelnut creamer. I usually buy the bigger brand of the hazelnut creamer, Great Value, but they ran out and that is like the better buy. So I just got the smaller one and this smaller one is $1.84. But again, the bigger size one, if you can get the one that this one is 32 ounces, but if you get the one that's 64 ounces, um, I believe that it's about under $3. So that's the one I usually get. So, but they didn't have it. Um, moving back on to this. I got some spaghetti ring pastas with meatballs. My girls love eating this. And the great value one is uh, 60. This Actually, this one was 66 cents and the stewed tomatoes were 64 cents. So I like it. it stays under a dollar. So that's what I got for those. Um, um, moving on to this. My daughter recently tried some Kind Bars when we went to a cheer competition. One of the moms had it and she really liked them. Um, but the Kind Bars can be expensive and I've noticed that Great Value has really been stepping up their game when they recreate certain things. So they have these, um, that are like basically compared to the Kind Bars and they're the, this one is the peanut butter and almond. Um, and I got it with peanut butter and I got this one for my daughter. I got this one for me, the almond and peanut butter walnut with the drizzle of dark chocolate and sea salt. I love it. And these boxes for four, they are $3.44, which like I said, is it is expensive for to get just only four bars for $3.44. But the kind bars to get the four um to get a four pack um of these it came out to like seven dollars. So it was actually cheaper to get the great value brand. So I got that to try that. And supposedly this is supposed to be like really good for you. It's gluten free eight grams of protein. So because it's a healthier bar, um, I didn't mind spending three forty four for four of them, you know, because each bar was like under a dollar. So it was supposed to be better for you. Moving on to another box product is a great value pop tarts. This is a great, actually it is a great value because you get um, 12 pop tarts for a dollar 50. You get these big box for a dollar 50 and they taste just as good as the pop tarts. Now this box would be close to $3 if you got the actual pop tarts brand. So you're paying half of it getting the great value brand and my, my kids love it. So my daughter loves the cookies and cream, one of them. And then the frosted strawberry, my oldest likes that one. 
And then moving on to the bread, um, the bread, this was only 88 cents. Great value bread was only 88 cents. Um, one of our favorite snacks I've showed you guys before is sunflower seeds. And you get this big old bag for a $1.98. And if you get the David's brand, this big bag would probably cost four. Uh, I'm so tongue tied. This bag would probably cost cost close to as a tongue twister four dollars, but it's only a dollar ninety eight for the Great Value brand. And I actually like this one better because it doesn't have as much salt as the David one. And so I like to cut down on my salt, even though this is one of my favorite things to eat. Um, the David brand it can be very very salty. So moving on to the cold stuff, this is the cheese, the Great Value cheese. I like to have white American on my sandwiches. But when I make my scrambled eggs, I love to have this um, Amer this uh, yellow American cheese. And these were only $1.88, which is great because the ones that I used to buy for this pack was close to $4. So I wanted to definitely try the Great Value brand um, because it was $1.88 for this. I also got some unsalted butter for some baking, which is also a Great Value brand as well. And these are $2.98. I also got some Crest... Um, Toothpaste, which there was four, but my daughter needed it. We ran out of toothpaste. Ran out of toothpaste. I actually got these at H E B, and they were at H E B. Usually, I get my Crest toothpaste at Dollar Tree for a dollar because I thought that was a great brand. But these were actually um, at um, at um, at H E B for they were eighty six cents, which is a better buy than Dollar Tree. So I'm definitely gonna start getting these again um, at H E B. So they were eighty six cents. That's what I got at H E B. Um, moving to the back with the chips, um, I always get these, um, especially when I do parties or just to have them at home because they're such a good buy. This bag right here is only 92 cents, which is a great buy because if you ever bought tortilla chips, they can be close to $2 or $3. So this big bag right here, they last you a long time, is 92 cents. And I, what I love about the Great Value brand is right here is where the chips are. So most of the time when you buy chips, the uh, chip bag, the chips are like down here and all this is air. But you can actually have, this is actually filled up to right here with chips. So you get a better buy with this. In the produce section, I got some bananas and the bananas were um, 48 cents a pound and I only um, paid 42 cents for them because it wasn't even a whole pound. Um, and then for the avocados, I got some avocados as well. They were 68 cents each. I also got some red onions and the red onions were 98 cents a pound. The limes were 20 cents each and they were some huge limes that they had at Walmart today. They were really big. Look how big these limes are. They're usually smaller and they were 20 cents each. And I also got a jalapeno and the jalapeno was, I only got one for the dip and it was 68 cents a pound. But I actually only paid three cents because it said the jalapeno was only um, like a, well, I think it's a phone. Um, the jalapeno was only like 0.5, um, 0.5, um, just 0.5 a pound, I guess. And so I only paid three cents for the jalapeno. So a great deal. And that's what I got in the produce section. Um, another thing that I got, um, from Walmart was the cinnamon rolls. We always have cinnamon rolls for our Christmas breakfast as well. And these were a dollar 23, which is a great deal because the Pillsbury ones are always like a dollar 98 or two something. I also got some great value milk. I always get my milk at a Walmart and usually the milk is under a dollar. Like it, it sometimes it's like a dollar 25 or a dollar 23. It usually stays within a dollar range, but sometimes they raise the price on the milk every once in a while. And today was one of those days. So it was actually two thirty six. Got in the cold section was the great value sour cream to also go with this kind of like appetizer thing that I'm making and these were just a dollar for this um big container it was just a dollar for the great value sour cream I also always get my large eggs at dollar I mean not dollar tree as Walmart as well um because they do have the better price when it comes to the eggs I always get the large size because I feel like it's a better buy and this was a dollar 45 a lot of times they will again they will have them like under a dollar, even 86 cents for the 18 count large. I always get the 18 count. Um, but I know, I normally notice that whenever the milk is raised, the eggs are raised as well. So right now they are raised, but they still stay under budget with any other prices that are around. So this was a dollar 45 for an 18 count, um, extra large eggs at Walmart. But again, you can sometimes get them for under a dollar. Send me over my bill was I did get some, um, double A. Our triple A battery energized, um, re rechargeable batteries because I find this is a better buy to recharge your batteries as opposed to keep buying batteries. And I have the kit where you can recharge it. And there was a thing that I'm giving my daughter for Christmas that she needed these batteries for. So I had to get a, a pack again. Now this for just four of these is 1035. Well, no, it's actually 1096 
for four of these rechargeable batteries, which is a lot. But again, these are rechargeable. You can use them over and over again. So in the long run, it's going to save you money to just recharge your batteries instead of buying batteries. So this was actually $10 on my budget, but I felt like I needed to get it before... Um, the kids open their gifts on Christmas. I finally figured out what the thing said on the on my um, on my receipt that said pantry. It was talking about the peanut butter. So I got this big, large, great value peanut butter for a for two twenty six. Also forgot to share the ice cream sandwiches. I always pick up. My daughters always want to have a dessert after dinner, and so these ice cream sandwiches are such a great buy. You get these ice cream sandwiches for I believe they're a dollar. $1.97 for 12 ice cream sandwiches. And these are actually good ice cream sandwiches. And sometimes they like, again, um, they go down. Sometimes I even had them for like a dollar 49, but right now they're a dollar 97. But this is such a good buy. If you bought a name brand ice cream sandwiches, again, you'd be paying close to $4. And this one was only a dollar 97. I'm moving on to the things that I got at HEB. These were actually 99 cents at HEB. At Walmart, they were a dollar a dollar seven so i decided to pick them up at heb because they're 99 cents normally in the commissary i can get the 50 pack for three something but i haven't been to the commissary in a while so whenever i haven't been to the commissary i just get i try to get them when they're 99 cents and they had them for 99 cents at heb this was an impulse buy at heb they had this deal where if you bought the heb dip you get these pita chips for free and never go to the store hungry guys never because i picked this up and the dip itself was like four dollars but then you get the chips for free which is not a great buy but it's a little snack for me later when I, you know, I'm going to be busy today. So it's going to be a little snack for me later um, to munch on while I'm busy today. Again, an impulse buy. Never go when you're hungry to the store. Another thing I got at HEB, which was a good buy, was these flour tortillas. Now you get 50 of these flour tortillas for $2.98, which is a great buy. I was actually going to pick up the 20 count that was $1.98. But then when I saw this one, it was $2.98 for 50. I was like, yeah, this is the better buy. And what you can do to save these so they don't go bad is that you can take some of these, put them in a Ziploc bag and freeze them until you're ready to use them. And that way they'll last long. But it's a better bang for your buck to buy the big old bulk um, container. I mean, the big old bulk bag to save money. Now, the next thing that I got, you guys have seen before, I always buy my quarter, my my chicken quarters, you get 10, a 10 pound bag of leg quarters for only $4.94. So that is so cheap. It's like 49 cents a pound. There's no other meat that you'll get that's like 49 cents a pound, even the individual ones. Like if you get the individual drumsticks or in the individual thighs, they're never going to be 49 cents a pound. So for me, this is the better bang for my buck and I always get it. Um, and I needed it for not only meals for me at the house, but I also needed it for the appetizer thing that I'm going to make um, for the Christmas party. Another thing that we always buy is a big old 24 count of ramen. I know some people might not like ramen and say, oh, that's bad to, you know, people have their things about ramen. But you know what? My kids love it. And we, in a pinch, this is a great meal to have, a great snack to have. And we love having it, especially like if we're sick. So this big old 24 count was $4.68. And like I said, it lasts us a long time. So this is always a great buy that we get. Another thing that I got was my HEB Stevia. Um, that's what I use for my coffee and everything else. And you get um, 160 packets for five dollars and ninety nine cents, which I don't know if that's the best buy. I have to check H E. Um, I have to compare it with um, Walmart's because I'm not sure if that's the better buy. Because Walmart does have their own stevia as well, too, a great value stevia. So I got to actually check to see if this is the better buy. But you let me know if you've seen something cheaper where you get 160 packets of stevia for five ninety nine or cheaper. Let me know. But that is it for my grocery haul. And again, I stayed under budget. With both of them, I actually spent $64 at Walmart and I spent $28 at um, HEB and both of them together combined is under $100 and I got things for my house for the week and then some and also for the two parties um, for the for the Christmas breakfast that I'm making and also for the party that I'm going to bring you my stuff that I'm providing for the party. So you can stay under budget and still you can stay in budget and still buy things for your home and also the things that you need for um, to throw parties as well. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out and check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.